So for some reason, I've always absolutely loved uh, various rubber face toys. Um, not necessarily the super vintage ones, although I do I do like some some of the Russians, and I would think about making some that are like that. But <clears throat> mostly, my obsession has been uh, the bunny surprise, you know, puppy surprise, kitty surprise, obviously. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure if that's where the camera should be. I don't know. Anyway, I'm trying. I I found my tripod again. So, and I'm trying to film on my tripod so I can use both hands. I'm still congested and I'm still, I'm just going to make videos about whatever I want to make videos about. So, when I was little, I got one of these guys at a garage sale and I absolutely loved it. And my parents thought that it was like a little creepy or weird or something. I don't know, maybe because they had had or they had seen, you know, like what they would think of as kind of creepy, the Russians. The funny thing is, is I've talked to my mom quite a bit about that because my mom also loves like antiques and vintage toys and that sort of thing. Um, and she finds that kind of 50s kitschy era to be quite like creepy and off-putting and I really kind of enjoy that juxtaposition of cute and a little bit creepy. Anyway, I ended up giving away, I had, I had two. I think I had the brown dog, which by the way, I see all the time everywhere and I'm like, but I don't want that one. I had that one already and I think it's boring. <laughs> I had the brown dog and I had a bunch of the puppies and I had I still have actually the little ones because I was always into the little ones and I found them at garage sales sometimes and I found one of these guys at the garage sales. I'm, I'm showing that one later. Anyway, this one was the first one that I found on eBay for a decent price as an adult collector um, and I didn't really care that it didn't come with the babies because I felt like I don't know. I just, I just think it's so cute. I just think they're so, so adorable. Like I love, I love the sweet little face. I love the mold. I love the effort that's gone into painting it. The little bow, the whole aesthetic and everything. And I love that this one is like orange. I feel like that's kind of an unusual color for, you know, girls toys of the nineties, but look, she's got like a little heart in her eye and everything. So the bunnies have always, always, always been my favorite. So this is the one that I found first. Um, and then I just randomly found this one. So I bought most of these like years ago and you can see the, so I put all of my new items I always put them in, in the freezer, which will like kill anything that's, you know, any nastiness, right? It, and it's not damaging to it, right? Um, but I haven't uh, had the chance to like actually clean them up. So this one just has like some surface issues, but otherwise she's in like really nice condition actually. And she has her little, uh, her little tag, but I mean, the color combo, you guys, the light purple and the teal, it's just so good. I love it so much. So this one has the same, I'm pretty sure this is the same face mold and they're the same size, but I do love that they are sitting opposite ways. So like if I want to, if I want to display them, I mean, right now they are sitting in my closet on, you know, I have them all lined up like this. So you don't really get to see their faces, but I have this idea that someday, one day I will be able to have a shelf where I can put them like this at the top where they're, you know, looking side to side to side. So I don't really care so much about the tags, but I do love the color combo. So I'm thinking about eventually I'd like to find a um, ribbon that's this color or, or maybe she had a pink one. I don't know. I'll have to look it up and get like a ribbon to tie around her neck to like tie the color scheme together so obviously like over the past several years I have gone through different phases in collecting so in this phase I was just buying anything that was cheap I think I paid oh my gosh I maybe paid like less than ten dollars for this one um and I was just like I absolutely love bunny surprise 
and I don't have all of the colors of Bunny Surprise, but I may eventually, I'm missing two, I think. I'm missing the smaller light pink one, and there is, there is a smaller white one as well, because that has like a slightly different face mold. So I may eventually have to get those guys, but I will leave those guys over there. And then the one that I really, really searched for was the lavender one because this is my favorite color and I could not believe that um I could not believe that it existed basically so this one is in much rougher shade but she came with three little babies I can't tell if they're in the middle or not but here they are she came with three little babies um who are also <laughs> kind of in rough shape and my mom um of course, I ordered it to my, my mom's house because these don't show up in Europe very often. And um, my mom said that the seller left a note that was like, oh, I didn't think anybody wanted this. I got this for a really good price, which was amazing because I think I feel like this color is quite unusual. Um, like the, the brown dog is super common and I haven't really paid attention because, you know, some of the cats and dogs show up all the time. Um, and some of the bunnies, like, I feel like actually the orange bunny shows up a lot, which I think is the, why this was the first one I got it. When I got this one, I was like, oh, I, I'll only get one, you know, cause I don't generally collect plush because they're so large, like they take up so much space. Um, but I just absolutely adore these guys. So this one, like I said, she's pretty dirty. She's been frozen. So like, there's no... <laughs> There's nothing that's going to really cause any problems in my collection, but she's also very flat, like maybe somebody really loved this one and like slept on it a lot because it's flat this way. So I'm thinking of actually uh, unpicking one of the seams and taking the stuffing out of this part of the body, particularly, oh, her head is, I mean, squashed flat as well. So yeah, unpicking the seams, taking the stuffing out washing the outer just like in a bucket you know really gently and then restuffing it so that she is less um squashed <laughs> but anyway the color the color the pink and purple and the teal it's so good and then the one that I found at a garage sale when I was a kid was this hot pink one which I just don't know if there's anything more ridiculously 90s than a hot pink and purple bunny. And of course, my favorite colors were pink and purple. She was pink and purple. Yeah. Like, for some reason, uh, normally I'm all about, like, the little babies and stuff. But for some reason, I was never, you know, I never, like, had these in my mind. Like, the baby ones. The one thing I would like is I only have I only have bunny babies with upright ears so I'd really like some bunny babies that have because there's some that have the floppy ears so yeah ideally from this one you know because so I can have all of the different molds but yeah it could be a different color anyway for some reason this one was so hard to find and it's not like it was expensive either I mean like ten dollars or something like that is what it usually went for and I think that's what I paid for this one but it just didn't show up that often I had to look for a really long time to find this one of course there were people on Etsy who were selling it for like seventy dollars or something insane like that but there always are you know um yeah so that's bunny surprise like I said I think I'm missing two and I think eventually I might like to try and get those two and eventually I might like to try and get um one of the baby bunnies with floppy ears then as far as other babies go these ones are from my childhood I'm not sure if like my cousin gave this to me or something I don't remember but I do remember finding this guy in at a garage sale I went to garage sales a lot as a kid um and I just absolutely this was like very I was very little when I found this at a garage sale and I just loved it I mean look at this sweet little face like the sculpt is so cute and it's so detailed um I actually have no idea what the mom plushie looks like for this one but I find the horse ones are I don't particularly like the horse or the cat uh mom plushies so 
yeah, I'm okay with that. I, I love that I have this little guy and that I've kept this little guy, you know, my whole childhood and now into adulthood. And, and these guys, oh, they're so cute. This one was always my favorite. I thought it had the sweetest little face. Um, so there's those guys. Then I think, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think these are a related line. And so these were already, these were already like kind of vintage when I was in school. I, well, not really. I mean, because these are from the nineties and when I was like looking for toys, it was like 2000s, right? So most of this stuff was like 10 years old by the time I was um, into toys. Anyway, I remember I traded, these These were sold individually. They didn't have like a mom plushie or whatever. I traded uh, one of my classmates at school. I traded something for this. I have no memory of what it was that I traded. So I, I guess it must have been a good trade. Like I still remember the girl that I traded with and I wonder if she wonders about this little this little guy because I, I still have him in my collection. Yeah. And it has a little, oh no, it's a girl. This little, this little girl. <laughs> well, anyway, so there's that one. Then, um, wait, what should I do? What should I do first? Okay. So this past summer, this is the, I'm going to skip ahead to the most recent acquisition. So this past summer, um, a friend of mine, she she said I, I've been friends she's been what, like my best friend for probably 10 years at this point right and she's been saying off and on like oh I have a bunch of toys from that era because she's a little bit older than me so she was you know a kid during like the peak toy era of toys that I love whereas I was you know shopping for these toys at garage sales some years later anyway Anyway, she went through her mom's basement and gave me an amazing, like, just treasure trove of her toys from that era. And um, here they are. So she had two of these little, good, like, these little guys. Aren't they cute? So she had another one of the, like, not natural color ones, you know, pink and purple. And then she had this little Dalmatian one. They're just adorable. Oh, I didn't notice this one's missing its little pretzel. Why do they have a pretzel? Because they all have pretzels and not like a bottle or something. I don't know. Um, it's weird. But anyway, so those are adorable. I'm going to set them up there. And then she also had these guys. So I actually really don't see the horses around very often so I was so excited to have another little pony and this one's sleeping and it has its little forelock there adorable and a kitty I've never had a kitty so she had she had these three and she didn't never didn't have any other babies and had no memory of uh the adults so I don't know she might have also gotten them from garage sales or something but yeah, the little kitty, like I said, the baby kitties are so cute. Like, this is so sweet. The mom plushes, I'm not really into. And, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. A bright pink puppy! And it's, like, super tiny, and it's a sleeping one. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Yeah, so I think I might eventually want to get um, the other two bunnies, maybe. And eventually a floppy-eared baby bunny. And then the only other one that I really like is I think it was like a Toys R Us exclusive. It's it's not this. I don't think it's this pink dog. But there were there was like a pink dog mom and the babies had like like they were a shaggy type of dog look. I don't know how to describe this, but that one is kind of on my list as well. Like I might have to show my um, Pinterest. But let's see another vintage item. These guys my parents got for me when I was like really small, like to, I was like a toddler when they got these for me. Um, the kitty one, because I loved pink and purple. Um, I don't know. I just, I loved little critters that I could carry around. And these are, these are obviously not puppy or kitty surprise, um, but they are from the same era. <laughs> Um, and they are super cute and they are kind of that, uh, rubber face type of theme. So I just thought I'd show those guys as well. 
Um, and then the only one of the newer puppy surprise or puppy or kitty surprise that I have is actually a puppy. So I really liked the, you know, kind of, what would you say, like anime face style of this one? Um, because I didn't like how they painted the molds of the new puppy surprise. And I also didn't really like, um, I felt like they didn't use the, the cute, they, they reused some of the molds, but not all the molds. Like these are not reused molds. I don't think, no, these are not reused molds and I don't really like them. Like I like the big anime eyes on this one and I don't really like the big anime eyes on these ones. So I don't know. And it's also a little bit sad because the quality on this one is so much worse, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like her fur is sewn into the face there and it's just like, it's just a little sad what has happened to toys, you know? Um, but I love the sculpt of the face actually. <coughs> and I, <coughs> and I think it's painted in a cute way. So yeah, I don't know. But the, the, the plush part is just like, you know, they don't make toys like they used to. The quality is just not there. So I don't know. I Obviously, I didn't go out and collect a bunch of the new ones because I, yeah, I was just not super impressed by their quality. But I do have that one and I think she's pretty cute. And then trending even further off topic, I found this guy at the thrift. He, I mean, I need to like zoom back a little bit. I don't know. Um, so this is Shevroshka, and I think he is, you know, I have no idea when he's from. I think he's newer because there are some movies that have come out in recent years where he's like holding the little orange or whatever, but he just looks like a more vintage item, which I think is interesting that he's, you know, probably newer, but looks more vintage. Anyway, um, the whole rubber face on a plush thing suits him so well because like this is exactly what he looks like in the cartoon um so i really like that that he's like so re well represented in toy form so this was like i said this was a thrift find can you believe it oh my god so i'm really really happy about this he's you know a uh, important item in my collection and then if we keep talking about the rubber face um, plushies, there are some other ones that are, they look like they have similar molds or that they kind of go with uh, Puppy Surprise. So I need to look into that and see if I can figure out what those are. Um, they might actually be another, you know, like sub line to Puppy Surprise. And then of course there are the all famous um, Puppy and Kitty Checkup which people pay absolutely insane amounts of money for. Um, I'm gonna have to see if I can like put a picture up here of Puppy and Kitty Checkup. They are so cute. They're just adorable. Um, like I said, the prices are completely insane. So I will never own those unless I find them thrifting randomly or something. Um, but I'm thinking about trying to make one um, my only concern is, is like, you know, I can sew and I'm pretty good at sculpting with polymer clay, but how, like, how is this attached here? Basically, that's what, um, that's what confuses me because it obviously it's not just like glued on top, which, um, I see people do sometimes when they are trying to replicate, a <coughs> rubber faced plush look. So that's something that I really want to figure out because I want to make my own version of Puppy and Kitty Checkup because I think they are so cute um, and they're like pink and purple and so pastel and everything. Um, but yeah, so there's my um, rubber faced toys collection, what I have to say about that. Basically, here is the rest of my entire plush collection. That's not true. I do have a giant plush Moomin up behind things back there. I need to figure out where to put him. I got him 
in the official Moomin store in like 2012, 2013 or something like that. Anyway, so obviously I liked the little guys, you know, tiny little critters. Um, I have another tiny little plush somewhere. Maybe that is, you know, in my parents' storage if I still have it. I don't know. Uh, the Doodle Bear is another one from my friend. And then I have those tiny little cinnamon roll plushies that I remember buying with my pocket money in the early 2000s. Um, but I will make another video about Sanrio stuff. Um, I've never been a huge Garfield fan, but I have these two little Garfield plushies that I've got at Thrift here. And uh, do I have any other plush? I don't think I have any other plush except for this little pushing keychain who has fallen down because the Shabaroshka isn't uh, holding him up anymore. Oh, and I'm holding the, I'm literally holding this guy in, his hand, in my hand. My mom got this um, little Stife seal for a very good price because he didn't have his button, you know, because somebody clearly loved him and played with him. Uh, so she collects Stife um, and I don't, but I think he is so cute and sweet and I keep him up here above my um, fantasy fillies, which I will also try and make a video about. But yeah, that's how I feel about plush because like I said, as you well, as you can see, I prefer, you know, smaller, more detailed items that I can kind of mm, put together in a setup. Uh, so yeah, I, I can't, I can't explain the Garfield thing. <laughs> I found both, like I said, I found both of these at Thrift here and they're just, they're just so cute. I mean, that's, that's Garfield. That's how he's shaped in the, in the comics. And somebody wrote their name on the tag and I was like, oh, he was loved. And now he will sit here on my shelf with his little clip friend. <laughs>